For the second week in a row, rookie defensive back Sidney Brown has played over 40 snaps. I wasn't able to get to him in a film review last week, so let's take a look at this week in a Sidney Brown game review. How did he fare as a slot defender against the Washington Commanders? Let's go to the tape. Sidney Brown is right here in the slot. Uh, I think this is probably one of his worst coverage reps of the day. It's just going to be a little slant route from the slot receiver. And you can see that Sidney Brown is kind of leaning outside to contact. He's got no help over the middle. So generally you would want to not give up this middle release this easily. But see, he doesn't go attack. He just sits back. He's back on his heels. Look at where his weight is at here. His butt's back, weight's back. He's just reaching out to try to contact the receiver. Uh, this is probably, like I said, his worst coverage rep of the day. Easily beat over the middle of the field to move the chains. Now let's go to another one here. Uh, this time you've got Sidney Brown right here. Uh, Brown is going to be coming on a blitz. It turns out to be a run play. So this is a run blitz, but watch him shoot through the B-gap here and get the tackle for loss. Brown loves to come downhill and hit. Racks up a TFL on that one. Here it is from the back view. Again, you can just see him knife through the B-gap. On the snap, contacts the running back and is able to bring him down. You love to see that from your rookie. Now we have Sidney Brown at the top of the screen. There's going to be motion, and it kind of confuses the look. They're trying to adjust, and it's going to end up being an end around coming back this direction. And I think uh, Sidney Brown does a really good job of sorting this out. So right here, he's staying home, staying home, gets out wide. He's going to knife inside. Good job there by Derek Barnett to go out wide and force this end around back inside. And Sidney Brown's there to make the tackle. So we'll see it from the back view again. Watch Barnett here is going to do a good job of staying home, impacting this defender. Sidney Brown gets inside for the tackle. Now let's go to this next one. I thought this was a pretty good coverage rep. He's going to exchange these routes with Darius Slay. So we've got an outbreaking route from the inside receiver and then an in-breaking route from the outside receiver. And you can see them communicate and pass this one off. And then he's going to come in and he cleans up Darius Slay's missed tackle here. So uh, really good job by Sidney Brown. Good communication with Darius Slay there. And good job staying with that play to make sure that the ball carrier goes to the ground. This one's a bad rep all the way around. Uh, the Eagles have five guys down. They're going to rush all five. And then they're going to play a three deep, three underneath coverage. This is a fire zone technique. Reed Blankenship steps down into this area of the field. You've got Sidney Brown is on a seam flat. We'll talk about that in a minute. Nicobe Dean on a flat. And then your deep zones, you've got Kevin Byard, middle of the field. And you've got the deep middles on both sides. Fire zone, three deep, three underneath, five blitzing. Now, the thing you have to know here, we've got three strong on this side. That means Sidney Brown is in a seam flat. That means this number number two receiver, if he goes vertical, Sidney Brown has to play over the top of that. He's got to carry that up the seam. Otherwise, there's going to be holes in this coverage. And he doesn't do that. I also think Kevin Byard does a bad job on this play. So we'll see this wheel route. So we've got a vertical, a wheel route, and a crossing route. And for some reason, I, Kevin Byard takes this crossing route and he's going away from the passing strength. I think you should be letting this one go, personally. Uh, not sure what the teach, what the coaching point is there, but from where I'm sitting, it looks like this is a failure both by Sidney Brown not to carry this upfield. It's also a failure by Kevin Byard to be so overplaying this crosser. It just opens up a huge area over the middle of the field for a touchdown. So I think a little better play from Byard. Uh, could help cover this up, but this is a bad rep by Sidney Brown. Uh, it's a tough ask to cover that wheel route up the seam like that, but you need to be able to do that if you want to play slot defender. Sidney Brown probably gives up that touchdown. It's halftime here on the channel. If you're enjoying this video, smash that subscribe button. Every video that you watch on YouTube, every link of mine that you share on Twitter, it really helps me out. So be sure you click and like, subscribe, wherever you're following my content. Now let's get back to the video. This time we have Sidney Brown at the top of the screen. Receiver is going to go in motion. And so Sidney Brown follows him. It's going to be a run play across the formation here. Sidney Jones does a good job of recognizing this on the run, trailing his receiver, and then cutting this off outside, forcing it back inside where the Eagles are able to rally and tackle. So again, I thought a good job here by Sidney Brown setting that edge. You'll see it again. 
The responsibilities are changing as you're flying across the formation. He's still able to see that. You know, maybe in a few weeks he doesn't overrun that and he he makes the play himself. But regardless, there's a lot of value in setting that edge. This time we've got Sidney Brown in the slot down here. Watch the way he triggers downhill. I don't think this is a blitz because if it's a blitz, you would assume this safety is stepping down to take the receiver, and I don't see that happening. I think this is just a great trigger by Brown. Sees that run, boom. And regardless of whether it was a called blitz by Brown or not, it's still a great job to get in there and impact the play. Uh, we see it from the back view. He just loves to come downhill and hit all the way across this formation, making that tackle. I mean, look at where Zach Cunningham starts this play. Zach Cunningham is right here. Sidney Brown is off screen over here. Who should be making first contact with the runner right here? It should probably be Zach Cunningham, a guy that loves to trigger downhill against the run. It's not. It's Sidney Brown comes flying in from off screen, makes a good play there in the run game. Again, you've got Sidney Brown at the top of the screen here. He's going to take a zone drop. Uh, the ball's going to come out to the flat. And watch how he pursues this play. So back pedals, back pedals. You know, we're doing a good job of splitting these routes here. Now all of a sudden, the ball's coming out, and look, he's already dropping down. He's going to be flying downhill. So he does a good job reacting. Slay's going to miss the tackle, and Brown's there to force him out of bounds. So good job again, never quitting on that play, rallying to support Darius Slay. It's always better to have two corners to tackle a guy than one. This time it's going to be second and forever. And again, he's just going to take a little zone drop. The ball is going to come out quickly underneath. Second and long, you want to let your pass rushers run loose. So you just take this little drop, and then you rally and tackle. Ball's caught at the 15. Again, look where the first down marker is. we got to get all the way to the 29. The ball's caught at like the 14-yard line, and he's immediately there to make that tackle. Almost no yards after the catch. It's going to set up third and long and another opportunity for the pass rush to go eat. Now we're down in the red zone. This is a tough situation for Sidney Brown. He's in the slot in man-to-man -man coverage on Terry McLaurin. I don't like the way the Eagles set this up. This is going to be, they're blitzing five. This is straight cover one man across the board with one deep safety. I'm not sure why the safety is on the tight end side. Like, for my money, you want this safety over here. I, I think they're just concerned about like a crossing route, perhaps. Uh, you do have a linebacker here on Jahan Dotson, so I guess that's probably what we're doing. We're keeping extra eyes on a crosser from Jahan Dotson. Regardless of how it works out, now you've got Sidney Brown on an island slot fade against Terry McLaurin. I think the coverage is good enough. Like It's a good ball. It, this is just a hard route to cover because you've got all this room to work with out here with no help over the top. McLaurin is fast. Ball's going to be like right there, just a little out of reach. I mean, that's a tough throw. That's one of those that if the ball's on target, it's pretty good coverage. It squeezes that throwing window. It's a tough throw and catch, and it ends up incomplete. So I'll, I'll, give, I'll give Brown, you know, solid coverage grade on that one. And now we look at this one. Uh, this is going to be just a zone drop. He's going to drop into this hook zone. You're going to get a crossing route underneath. This is the big hit, watching him trigger downhill to go hit a receiver here. Recognize he's got to carry this up the seam a little bit. Sees the ball start to come out. Boom, we're getting back downhill. No yards after the catch. Big hit. Terry McLaurin's going to think twice maybe. Hear a little bit of footsteps when he's coming over the middle of the field. Here it is from the back view. And again, watch this hit. That is a clean hit. Boom, shoulder to chest. Puts McLaurin on the ground. Sidney Brown racked up seven tackles in this game. He missed one tackle. Uh, he had a few tackles for loss. He had six stops which is a tackle that constitutes a non-successful play for the offense uh, he was targeted five times per pff coverage stats allowing four receptions for 41 yards obviously the touchdown we talked about only allowed six yards after the catch this is a guy that loves to fly downhill and hit he was a pretty sure tackler in this game i was encouraged by what i saw at a sydney brown in the slot i look forward to watching him play more over the next few weeks